ASML is a company that's very important in the uh, chip ecosystem. Yes. Um, we haven't really talked about them a lot on this program, but um, they do hold damn near monopoly on the EUV technology. And a lot of companies um, actually get their tech through. They're like one of these companies that's like a gateway company. And yeah. uh, during the pandemic, they ran up crazy during the pandemic. But they're down 30% mm -hmm. um, from a high of 1100 to around 750 so we've Ooh, talked about whoa. Nvidia. We've talked about Nvidia a lot. We talked about TSM, but ASML is another one of these um, chip making equipment companies that's vitally important to the ecosystem. Like I said, they almost have a monopoly in their niche. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what is the prognosis for ASML? <clears throat> Uh, no one wants to say it, but we are in a chip recession. So everything is um, coming down. NVIDIA, once I said, once they didn't over deliver on Blackwell, which I think they will next year, it brought the entire space down. Um, I can see ASML going to 672.72. Oh, what'd you say? What'd you say? ASML. 672. 672. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. probable. Okay. So. Um, that would be a, a, one area I would look to load the boat. If you were at InvestFest, tons of value. Um, I gave you eight levels where to get in on stage live. And a ninth one as a bonus, because shout to you who asked, what, what's another level? Um, you can plot how to map out your own levels there, or you can go to eninvest.com, get the replay, or go to investfest.com and get the replay and see how to map these levels out for yourself. But um, we are in a chip recession. Um, if we look back even... Two years ago, they were at 388 for to go from 388 to then 1100. In order to have exponential returns, you have to continue to deliver an exponent, exponential uh, product, which they have done. But once you miss one revenue beat one time, we're going we're going to have a pullback. So I think we're just correcting to the levels that it should be. But do they have a legal monopoly? Absolutely. Um, is it one of the ones that we haven't talked about on here a lot? Absolutely, but I've talked about it endlessly in Stock Club. So 672, 72 is where I would look to build a position if you're new into it. Um, and let's be honest, like a stock can't run from 200 to 1200 and then continue to go to 2400. Like you're outside outside of mathematical probabilities and mathematical loss. Like if a stock goes up 500%, another thing I talked about on stage, Knowing where to take profit. If you hit 5x, take some profit. Take 50% off the table. Let the rest run. Add to the, back to the position, and you'll be a okay. Yeah, ASML is something you know we spoke about, uh, and I'm glad you said you spoke about it. In Red Panda, we definitely spoke about it in um, in our calls in EYLU. Um, Gatekeeping. Yeah, but you know what? We spoke about it here first on Market Mondays, and that, and that, sure. I'm glad that we're bringing it up again because this is important so people can understand how this works. Yes, Nvidia has chips. Yes. Taiwan Semiconductor is the one that produces it, but there's a machine that creates yep. <laughs> those chips. And so ASML, in a sense, when you say monopoly, it's because they have the technology right now that can create the nanometer chips for TSM mm -hmm. to now provide uh, NVIDIA. And so they're not American. <laughs> and, and when we're talking about imports and exports, Th these things come into play. And so if it's a Dutch company, and so if you figure if it has to ship to China, if it has to ship to America, mm -hmm. and there's geopolitical tensions, they're going to be affected directly. On top of Absolutely. it, a company like Arm comes into the space, and now we're looking at this as, hey, maybe they're not the only player inside of the space. But is it a risk? when you see, obviously, companies pull back, and it's one of these cases where we watched NVIDIA get pulled back two, two weeks ago, and it was like, well, why really? The guidance is there. They're telling you guys are turning out. We just saw a Broadcom report last week, and I put some numbers in um, on Broadcom, and we watched them yep. pull back, and the guidance is there, and the revenue is there. So why? we talked about it. September is a volatile month. It's a rough fact, month. Over the past 10 years, yeah, out of all the months <laughs> in the calendar year, September has been the most volatile and has produced a negative 2.3% return over the past 10 years. And so we're in September. We talked about quadruple witching. We talked about rate cuts last week with all that happening. 
you're seeing semis which have led for the past 12 months they're slightly pulling back does this mean that they're going anywhere absolutely not does this mean you shouldn't invest absolutely not but you got to pick your points and we're getting to some of those levels where it's like all right this is a good good position uh, i'm glad you said the number 672 good number to be in it but we, if you're looking at it long term the dollar cost average in anyway um and so yeah. it's, it's one of those companies that we put it on our watch list i feel like we did this in maybe june of 2020 um yeah. so a lot of people maybe have had that run up uh and, and celebrated from that run up but yeah I, I think it's something you still stay in it's, it's a company that is definitely going to be a part of the the ecosystem when it comes to ai and definitely when it comes to making chips continue to hold for the long term stop buying things when they're at a hype or high and you'll be okay like you can't no company will defy mathematical averages i you can't go up 14x in a four-year period or 11x and then not have a retracement these are the areas in which you should be looking to buy if you are not disciplined you're going to die but if you are disciplined your profit, I think, is that simple. But yeah, I think they have a monopoly because they are really the supplier to the rest of the chip space. And the Dutch, they know a lot about that import-export business, don't they? So, so, <laughs> so they would. So <laughs> that's crazy. So, on a scale of one to ten, as far as like a a company that you would be interested in in buying, like I said, mm -hmm. it's already dropped. It's already dropped thirty percent. Yep. Yeah, where where would it be? In the chip space, um, Nvidia will be number one for sure. TSM two, ASML probably would be three. A lot volatile. So if you're putting a lot of money into it, you're going to have to stomach some of those drops. And like where you buy matters a hell of a lot. Um, even if I zoom out a little bit further, I mean. If they go to 612, I throw a bag at it. 612, 12, but 672, 72, I'm, I'm very interested in it, but it's third because of the volatility. They're like the Tesla of this space in terms of volatility, not management, but how the price action moves on it. Um, the days when it's running up incredibly well, you're going to be very happy, but on the days where it's sliding down, you're going to hate it. Just inside of this quarter, we've gone from should 1110 down to 749 i don't care how much financial discipline you think you have let's say if you have two hundred thousand dollars invested it's hard to sit through a drawdown like that 100 yeah. bucks wide almost yeah, yeah. If, if, if this is an assembly line like they're part of the assembly line mm -hmm. like it's, it's tough to produce at the levels you want if they're not a part of the assembly line because and even we'll take a, like other companies, they don't have the technology to make the nano wafer. So like the wafer, think of it as like a egg -o waffle, right? Like the, that's what yeah. this is. Like these large sheets that they put the semis on, they have the machines that actually make them. And so if you don't have the person that makes the sheet, then you don't have anywhere to put the chip on. And so it's an assembly, like the ecosystem. I probably have, it's definitely in my top five. I definitely have it. Absolutely. It's in my oh, portfolio yeah. now. Just full disclaimer, it's in my portfolio. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely in top five. You need it's part of, of the assembly.